There's a new Zelda game on the Nintendo Switch, Skyward Sword HD. Well, technically, it's not exactly new. It's a remake of the 2011 Nintendo Wii title. This time around though, the game is in high definition, running a stable 1080p resolution in dock mode and 720p in portable mode. The game now also targets 60 frames per second in both docked and portable mode. Based on the testing I did, that frame rate is extremely stable, 60 FPS all the way. Clearly, the Switch hardware isn't struggling to run this 10 year old game with improved performance. One way to see how hard a game makes a Nintendo Switch hardware work is to compare the battery life. And that's what we're gonna do today, test the battery life of Zelda Skyward Sword HD on the Nintendo Switch Lite and Nintendo Switch version 2 console. It'll also be interesting to compare this Zelda game to others on the Nintendo Switch, so I of course will show that in this video. When we think of recent Nintendo Wii ports onto the Switch, the other big one is Mario Galaxy. That game lasted 4 hours and 49 minutes on the Switch Lite and 6 hours and 20 minutes on the larger Nintendo Switch version 2 console. How does Skyward Sword stack up? Let's find out. The settings used here are what I normally use for most of my tests, brightness at a medium, sound at medium, and airplane mode is actually on because this game, like other Zelda games, does not have online component. Both consoles at 100%, let's get this test started. At the 1 hour mark, Switch Lite has 82% and the regular Switch has 86%. After 2 hours, we have 60% on the Lite and 72% on the regular Nintendo Switch. Going on 3 hours now and there's 37% on the light, 56% on the regular switch. At the 4 hour mark, switch light is getting low, 14% while the regular switch still has 40% battery left. The switch light got the 5% warning at 4 hours and 26 minutes. The 1% warning at 4 hours and 38 minutes. And 10 minutes later, Skyward Sword HD on the Switch Lite powered off at 4 hours and 48 minutes. The regular Switch still has 26% battery left at this point. That console did make it to the 6 hour mark with 4% battery remaining. It got the 1% warning at 6 hours and 7 minutes. And Zelda Skyward Sword HD on the Nintendo Switch version 2 powered off at 6 hours and 17 minutes. I know there's a lot of people that still own that older version 1 Nintendo Switch. I currently don't have one to test this out, but based on experience, Skyward Sword on that older console should last about 3.5 hours. If someone out there has actually tested it, maybe drop a comment. Here's how Skyward Sword compares to Mario Galaxy. Very interesting, the battery life of both of these Nintendo Switch ports is almost identical. I'm sure Nintendo took the same technical approach to both of these games when porting them over to the Nintendo Switch. Both titles have improved resolution to 1080p and the frame rate at 60fps. And then there's the whole thing about figuring out how the button versus motion controls for both games would work. I think Nintendo did a really good job on porting both of these games. Here's how Skyward Sword's battery life compares to other Zelda games. It's right up there, the best battery life for a Zelda game on the Nintendo Switch. I mean yeah, Link to the Past is almost 9 hours, but that's not technically a Nintendo Switch game. It's clear from the battery life that Skyward Sword does not push the Switch hardware to its limit. This clearly shows how well Nintendo did with porting this game to the Switch. They upped the performance, gave us a 60fps 3D Zelda game, nailed the button and motion controls while delivering long lasting battery life. Alright so that was a lot of information, food for thought, let me know what you think about the numbers and if you can make sense of it all. If you do appreciate this content, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more battery tests.